Welcome back to the Lazy River, guys. This is Herb. Happy Wednesday to you. Happy Hump Day. And happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Today we're just hanging out at the Lazy River. We did a water change on most of the tanks here on the rack, including Steve's tank. And we have some updates for you today. If you guys watched Sunday's video, you remember that we were talking about plants that I had recently lost in a wholesale order that were affected by some, you guessed it, salt water. And if you watch the video, you'll know more about that. However, you'll see that in this tank, we don't have any of those plants anymore. We've been doing water changes. They basically rotted away, but you can see that some of the fish in here are starting to get some really cool colors on them. We actually did get a heater. We picked that up from someone recently who was selling some fish tank stuff on Facebook. Over here, moving over to tank number three, is basically a holding tank for most of my product of Anacrocelodea. And as you see, the pickings are getting pretty slim up there. This whole tank used to be filled and it was growing like crazy. But thanks to you guys, you've been buying it from me, which I'm very appreciative of. Thank you so much. We're gonna be getting some more of that in. And if you do follow me on the OfferUp or eBay at Daphne Dog 10, Lazy19 on OfferUp, you'll see that most of my auctions are not on there right now. And that's because I'm just taking some time to regroup and I don't want to offer you guys something that's not of the best quality. So I'm taking time to restock and regrow and we will be getting back on there soon to provide you guys with some good plants. Down here we did a water test. It's looking really good as you can see here. We did that yesterday. The Jungle Val is still growing like crazy in here. That's doing really good. We found a Nerite snail in another tank that we didn't even know existed. And we threw him in here recently. This one's cloudy because I had wrung out the sponge filter during a water change, but it'll clear up tomorrow. And there's not much going on in here, although we have some spotted mollies. You can see in there. And this, going back to here, this tank basically just consists of my Calico Molly Fry. We did lose a lot of fry recently, as you may know. Some of them got eaten and some of them died during a water change from down in this tank. This is just filled with media bags and some hornwort that doesn't really look too good at the moment but that's okay. Uh, we're not going to proceed with the hornwort or this tank at the moment. We do have plans for it, and what we're gonna do is be using it as a plant holding tank, so we're gonna be getting that all cleaned up and running good very soon. If you look down here, I know you guys may give me crap about having my Oscar in a 10 gallon tank, but he will get moved soon to a bigger tank. And he's doing very fine. We're doing daily water changes on this. We've got three sponge filters in there. We've also got a hang on the back filter. And if you see, his tank's really clean and he's doing just fine. Moving on up here, we do have some Azola fern that seems to be taking over this little spot inside the grow out tub which is really cool. And we also noticed the other day while we were scooping duckweed out for an order and doing some feeding that we had some cherry red looking guppies in here. I haven't gotten a chance to really dig through there and see what's in there. I'm kind of just gonna let it go and let them do their own thing. And we will dig into it at some point and we'll be updating you about that to let you see them. Hopefully they look super cool. Let's move inside to the turtle tanks. It's pretty bare at the moment. We're missing the 20 gallon. You've seen in the video that I took it down 
and I'm not going to be using it right now, but this tub's entirely taken over with Sylvania Minima, and there's also some water lettuce and some Amazon frog bit in there because we have quite a bit of black guppy fry in here, and we're letting these plants utilize their roots to be able to hide those fry from the adults, and we'll be searching through that. We had a surprise piece of Sabwasser tang that showed up, and I was holding it in here, and it's tossed into another tub. It's pretty big, good size, about that big. So I haven't bought any of that or anything, but I found it, and I'm going to try to grow it out. Turtle tank is kind of dirty. Needs a water change, and it's kind of just holding excess stones and sponges and whatnot, just for the time being. And you'll notice also that we're missing our tub that used to be here. Now it's just a box of fish tank stuff. And moving back out, you'll see that we've got a ton of hardscaping material, pieces of driftwood and different kinds of rocks all over the place. This is basically back into the stages of getting everything reorganized and getting ready to sell again, after, especially after my mishap up here with the wholesale order. That kind of threw me off. And a couple of other things have been thrown at me. So it's just kind of a recoup period, and I wanted to let you guys see what's going on still. We're still staying lazy. Don't mind this. We're also reorganizing all of the heaters and have them all, of course, labeled and whatnot. And we're figuring that all out up here. But just a little quick update for you guys. And I hope the rest of your day goes really well. Until then, stay lazy.